Hi, Jay. Hi, Ben Yang. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, and you? Excellent. Okay. Today, we're going to have something special. Are we going to try, Mister? Yeah, of course. Oh. So, we're going to talk about Mista a little bit, and then you're going to tell me the secret behind this beautiful Mista. And then, yeah. Okay. Have a glass so, of it. Nice story. <laughs> You have to tell me the secret behind this product. So... Mmm, I can smell the aroma already. <laughs> so, G, tell me. Uh, what is my style actually? Is it a wine? Is it a liquor? It's a liquor. It's a van liquor. Okay. And what we call a van liquor is, uh, is that we, we blend grape juice with brandy mm -hmm. uh, and keep the sweetness, natural sweetness of the, the grape juice. Okay, G, so you told me that um, you said that it's made from grape juice and brandy, so meaning there's no fermentation. There is no fermentation, yeah. The brandy will avoid the fermentation to occur ah, okay. because the alcohol is used as an antiseptic and also it will, it will be uh, uh, Building the core of, the, of this van liquor. Right, so that's why it's become liquor, not yeah, wine, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it makes sense that no fermentation, so it's not wine. No, we want to keep the juice as fresh as possible, then we we stop every uh, every change by the addition of alcohol. Right. So it's like we are almost freezing the, freezing the, 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 the aroma, the, the, the pure first aroma of the, of the juice. And then, um, I mean, the brandy, do you do we make it ourselves? Yeah, we make it and actually uh, the thing that changed in the recent uh, research we made on, on Mister is that we use the brandy that comes from the same plot mm -hmm. as the juice. So it's just the same grapes? It's the same grapes, same, same plot, place, and then same harvest time. Same harvest time. Yeah. And then you make it one just the Separately. juice and one the brandy. Yeah, it's like a it's like a love story. <laughs> they they separated and they meet again Aww, and they finally, so they, finally build, they can finally build their life together. Right. This one the liquor been um, we we've been launched quite quite some time yeah during the pandemic, and then I see quite a difference. And then what did you do? Make it. Uh, we made uh, several changes in, in, the, in the making of this wine. Mm -hmm. First, as I told you, we, we, we just made the, the juice and the brandy from the same place, same time. Yeah. Uh, blend again. Yes. And to, to create something much more uh, complex. Right. And we also uh, changed a little in, in the date of harvest. We want less ripe fruit so that we will get uh, this beautiful crystal-like color mm -hmm. and this very uh, classic uh, aroma of the muscat when it's yes. just... Yes, capture that. Yeah, and uh, because uh, I wanted to capture the, the, the Sichuan uh, impact. There is a Sichuan paper impact oh, yeah. that we can feel in the, in, the back, in the back of the mouth. Right, so it's not as sweet as before? It's slightly less sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I believe that it's, it's much more elegant now right. than before. I think before was it was because uh, Mistel is supposed to be a feminine like one because it's, it's smelling like perfume. Yes, exactly. And um, I was thinking the, 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 the first version of Mistel actually were a bit too more muscular, and I wanted to make it more elegant. More elegant, more sophisticated. More sophisticated, yeah. More yeah. Okay. Let's try. Mm. Yeah, I I really feel quite a difference here. Yeah? Like I still can enjoy the sweetness, but there's some lingering um, acidity. Yeah. And then at the at the end of the taste, there's the pepper. Yeah. Pepper that you yeah. mentioned. I, I, I believe it's, it's the signature of the Balinese soil. Ah, okay. From the from the volcano uh, rocks. Right. 
we will get this uh, bright acidity mm -hmm. and also this uh, this spice right. can, can be revealed from from the muscat. From the, oh, so it depends on the soil as well. I, 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 yeah, yeah, that's a real signature of the of the balsamic soil. Actually. Right, but the grapes is remain the same. It's just the method of making and yeah. harvesting. Yeah, that's that's what is very interesting with the muscat is that you can do. A lot of version. A lot of version of Muscat. Yeah, yeah, and you always have this, this, this signature of, of Balinese grape. Right. Eji, so um, we already know now that it is a liquor, but we blends the, the wine. Uh, but how to drink it properly, actually? Is it like just like this, chilled? Or with ice? Or how is it? That is that's what is very interesting also with this one is that you can drink in many different ways, like just uh, it could be a wine to enjoy, like festive wine. Okay. So you can add ice inside, and, and so it will be uh, lighter, a, a, bit lighter, a bit lighter, easy, easy e to even drink. more easy to drink. Right. Or you can get it chill like you, like we have it now, mm -hmm. and then you, you then will capture all the the the, the, the um, sophisticated aroma and the complexity it has. Right. Yeah, so, so both ways. Both ways. It's depend on the location. Yeah. yeah, I believe I really enjoy this as also like a dessert in the form of liquid and I, I believe it will be a perfect pairing with some, you know, spicy dish. Yeah, yeah, of course you can, Indonesian you, dish. You, you can pair it with uh, yeah. spicy Indonesian uh, food. Also with dessert. Right, with dessert. All right, let's try with the ice now. Yes. In like some fun festive or party, maybe we can serve this. It's yeah. gonna be more refreshing with ice. Yeah, it's lighter. Yeah, but still has the body. Yeah, yeah. We are not losing much, but we are diluting a little. But a little, but still. We can, we can, because the, the level of concentration of the wine is quite high. Mm -hmm. So. So it leaves living place to, to, to enjoy it the way you, you like. Yes, it. maybe put some strawberry on it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we can use it as a cocktail base. Or right, something. as a cocktail base since it's a liquor. Mm. But it really has this um, typical um, muscat aroma yeah. that I really like. Great job, G, for this beautiful product. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Love it.